Okay, breathing, let's talk about breathing. So if you wanna get in and out of this video really quickly, what I'm going to tell you is that breathing is really important to your core, obviously. Um, and your homework is to breathe into your belly um, so much more often than you breathe into your chest, okay? Then you breathe into your ribs. So we don't want this shallow stress breathing into your rib cage. You want to be sucking that air into your belly as often as possible. Whenever you think about it, make sure you're always breathing into your belly, okay? Now you can go. Otherwise, you can listen a bit longer and I'll tell you why. So we're going to talk um, about your diaphragm here. So your diaphragm is um, a hugely important breathing muscle. And that's the muscle that we want to really be bringing into play when we're breathing, when we're training. Um, and, and that will help strengthen your core. So breathing makes you stronger. Breathing makes your core stronger. It's, it's, it's really, really important. And I will tell you why. So um, things like stress. Uh, the way you hold yourself, your posture, your movement patterns, all of those are quite unconscious. Um, they will all affect how you use or don't use your diaphragm. So as I just said in that, that opening segment, when you're stressed, when you're breathing shallowly, you're probably breathing into your chest, into your shoulders without even realising it. What you want to be doing is breathing, breathing into your belly. So if you've ever watched a baby or um, a, a, an animal breathe when they're asleep, um, or when they're awake, but I mean, they're much stiller when they're asleep, so it's easy to see. Um, they will breathe into the, their belly. And if you're listening to me now, you're probably trying this out, which is good. Let yourself breathe into your belly. Let your belly expand as you breathe in. So it's going to open like a, a balloon, like expand like a balloon. And that's what we want to happen. So when your diaphragm isn't being used properly, it will become tense and it won't, um, it won't be relaxed enough that it can expand and the muscles below it can then be used properly. So as well as your diaphragm, you've got the muscles that surround your core and you've got your pelvic floor. So it's like a tin can, it's like a pressurized can. So it goes up and down like that when you breathe. So you're breathing in and there's loads of space in your lungs here and then you breathe out and that, that air goes out and everything lifts up. So you can kind of contract your pelvic floor on that out breath and then release your pelvic floor on an in-breath. And that will help with that pelvic floor strength. And it will also help with this up and down breathing pattern. So as well as up and down, we've got in and out. So all of those things will help with strength. So you probably heard me talk about power breathing when you're doing swings. This all applies to that. So we want to keep that tension on a, on a power breath. We want to keep that tension when we're doing anything that involves stabilization of your spine. So any kind of core work, when we don't have that proper spinal stabilization, when that pressure system isn't working properly, you will have compensations elsewhere. You'll have back pain, might even have tension in your neck because you're using those secondary muscles and they, they link up here. So there are muscles down in your neck here that are secondary breathing muscles, okay? So if you're breathing wrong, you'll get, tension um, refers pain in your neck potentially and also in your back and the reason for that again coming back to the diaphragm the reason for that is that your diaphragm this muscle of your diaphragm here connects to your spine so you've got muscles called spinal erectors that keep you upright and keep your spine stable so your diaphragm connects to those muscles so any tension which will translate to weakness bizarrely in your diaphragm because it's not working properly um, will show up in your back, somewhere down in, in your back. And it will also, um, it, your diaphragm also connects to, there is a muscle called your psoas muscle, which comes down and hooks onto your pelvis, which obviously transfers power to your lower body. So breathing wrong, not breathing into your diaphragm, not making use of your diaphragm and your pelvic floor and all of those abdom that, that abdominal breathing, those abdominal breathing muscles, those primary breathing muscles will result in um, loss of power, loss of strength and compensatory um, pain and compensatory um, like overuse of muscles and underuse of muscles. That whole system won't work together, which translates to you not being as strong as you potentially could be, which is not what we want. Lovely. OK, I think that's all. So your homework, as well as the people that left in the first few seconds, <laughs> thank you for staying with me. I talk a lot. 
um, your homework is to breathe into your belly more often than not. So what I mean by that is during the day, um, just think about how you find yourself showing up to breathe. So where is that breathing happening? Is it happening higher up? Can it be happening any lower down? Can you connect your pelvic floor to your breath? So you're going to breathe in and you'll feel your pelvic floor slightly release, like almost relax a little bit. And as you breathe out, no, yes, <laughs> as you breathe out, it's really hard to say it without doing it. Okay, so as you breathe out, that pelvic floor can contract slightly. So just focusing on this just for a few minutes a day will make that an unconscious pro process. So it will take away from that more um, stressed, shallow breathing that you, you might have for all sorts of reasons. We're all, none of us are relaxed all the time. But the more often you can practice that abdominal breathing, the more unconscious it will come as a, a, movement, a movement pattern. It is a movement pattern, breathing. And the more that will transfer over to your training and make that stronger. Okay.